I can see every turn, that, every turn, every maneuver that that, that that machine is going to make. All right, so what we're looking at here is, is an outline of a field boundary that we have recorded with our, with our system. So basically what we have is we have our field and then we also have all of the different jobs that, that have occurred across that, that field through time. What we have is a coverage plan for that field. So these are, this is each pass that that, that machine is going to, to make in that field. Let's just walk through the process of, of, making, of making that coverage plan here. So I can give the coverage plan a, a unique name. I can set the angle at which uh, that, that tractor, the machine is going to do it. So we'll just set it at uh, 90 degrees, my pass angle. So then I can, I can specify um, the field boundary. What kind of behavior do I want to have around that field boundary? And in this case, with that size of equipment, I need about four, four headlands to, of space to make my end of row turns. And then um, also uh, four headlands is, is 80 foot wide. Uh, so that gives me uh, you know, enough room to get trucks in and out of the field too. I can also specify how do I want the, how do I want the, the tractor to behave when it goes around this obstacle? Do I want the tractor to go up to the obstacle and make an end of row turn and, and return on, a, on an adjacent pass? Or would I like it to, to perhaps just diverge around the obstacle and, and keep on going? So I can set the speed that that tractor will slow down to in the area of that, of that obstacle. And then I can also set the kind of the curve radius at which the, the, the path will go around that, around that obstacle. That gives me this, this coverage plan that, that has all of the passes that the machine will execute. Once we've got the coverage plan created, the next thing that we do is we we take a we create a mission, and this is kind of this is kind of where the swarm starts to take effect. And what I mean by that is, is is that when I create a mission, I can pick the job type, I can pick the coverage plan that I wanted to execute, and then I can also select which vehicle I want to assign to this mission. So if I had had multiple vehicles assigned to this job, this is basically where I assign a vehicle to to this mission. And, and then you'll see next how we, we can then start to specify which passes um, I want that machine to, to go out and execute. So I can do it a couple different ways. I can, I can uh, individually select the passes. I can take a polygon and select a, a, a cluster of passes. Or I can clear that and then I can I can select all passes. And then the cool thing about this is I can actually go in and start to unselect certain passes too. So we tried to make this as, as easy to use and, and configurable as possible. This is also the same interface where I set the pass speed. So if I want the machine running at, in this case, four miles per hour, and then having a turn speed of about two and a half miles per hour, I, I can do that. And, and be, us being a tech company, we're always trying to do you know different things. We've got this, option to add advanced parameters or I can set geofence offsets. I can, you know, do some, do some, it's, you know, some crazy things, if you will. And so then kind of once a, once a, a mission plan is, is saved, if you will, um, I can go into the vehicle screen and what I'll see is, is, is this tractor on its mission plan. So it's, this tractor is sitting here, it's, the engine is off. Um, and, and then I can see every turn, that every turn, every maneuver that that, that that machine is going to make. I can also remotely remotely control the machine. I can turn on its ignition. I can start the engine. I can I can raise and I can fold and unfold the, the vehicle. I can also engage and disengage things like the, the power takeoff. So I think this is a good segue out to the out to the field.